Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this problem right here. Right away, when you plug in 0 for x, you get 2 divided by 0. So that's a red flag. So we have to approach this problem differently. And so I'm going to show you two things um, with absolute value of x. So the absolute value, let's say x is 2. Absolute value of 2 is 2. Let's say x is negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is also 2. And so we can actually rewrite an absolute value as two piecewise functions. And I'll show you what I mean by that. We could say x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and negative x when x is less than 0. Let's, let's check it out. Let's say a number is greater than or equal to 0. Let's say 2. If the absolute value of 2 is 2, I plug in a 2, I also get 2. Let's get a number less than 0. Let's say negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. And negative parentheses, negative 2 is also 2. So we can rewrite this. And this is going to come very handy whenever we want to solve this problem. So in solving this problem, we're going to rewrite this as um, two limits. The limit as x approaches greater than 0. And when it's greater than 0, we can apply this. So 2 divided by x. You could say when x is greater than or equal to 0. That's fine. And then the second one, limit as x approaches a 0 to the left. And when we write this, you could say 2 divided by negative x when x is less than 0. At this point, we got to plug it in. So 0 to the right is like 0, 0.00000, repeating 0, 1. So 2 divided by a very small positive number is going to give us infinity. Now let's try this one. It says 0 to the left. So that's like negative 0 0.0001 with infinite zeros. So it's a negative small number. So 2 divided by negative, a very small number. So a negative times a negative is a positive number. So it's 2 divided by a positive number. And that's also going to give us infinity. And so you notice the limit as x approaches 0 to the right, we get infinity. And the limit as x approaches 0 to the left, we also get infinity. Now, because the limit as x approaches 0 to the right is infinity is the same as the limit as x approaches 0 to the left, because they're both the same, so our final answer for this problem right here would be infinity. And that's all we need to do for this problem. Also, you can check the description box of this video. There are two playlists. One playlist features categorized problems, and the other playlist features random limit problems. And that's pretty much it.